Hello friends, this is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. I have a journal to share with you that I've completed. It's a bigger one than I've done in a long time. So I'm really excited to share that with you, but I want to quickly show some washi tape that I've put in my shop. This is just a test. I haven't actually sold washi tape in my shop before. I don't know if there's, if you guys really want me to do that or not, but I have three rolls. It's the same thing. They're vintage sewing tickets and I've used some in this journal, but this is my roll. So I'm going to show you if I can just grab a piece of paper, Ugh. grab something over here, right? Just use the back of uh, this old catalog. So isn't that cute? There's a button, scissors, sewing machine, a singer um, symbol there and a thimble. So you can rip them off to make individual little tickets. And I've been using my roll. But I have three just as a test in my shop to see if that's something you guys want. So that is in the junk journal supply section. Now I want to show you this journal. So here it is. It's got kind of a story behind it. So this cover is wicked old. At least I, I can't remember because I threw out the text block a long time ago and just kept the cover and it is Basic Writings of St. Thomas Aquinas. And um, it is, I wanna say from the early, early, mid, maybe late, but this in the 1800s. And um, this, all this distressing, I didn't do, it was that old. And it's been sealed um, multiple times. This text missing, I didn't do that, it's that old. What I did do, however, was give it a little more life. And so I decoupaged some of this napkin that has these butterflies and these flowers onto it. And it just so seamlessly and beautifully just melted and melded into, if you see all these fibers of this book and, and the different layers that have you know, the rips and there's multiple rips in it. It's so old. There's a huge rip here that I've made sure that I have sealed in, but I wanted to keep it, wanted to keep the character of it and I wanted to preserve it. It is so beautiful. And um, here on the back as well. And then I used texture paste and I have a wildflower, two different wildflower stencils. So just in white, I did one here, one here, and then a butterfly up here. And then I used gold uh, wax and then rubbed it in. There's also a little bit of green acrylic ink. And then there's gold on the edges and around this and on all of these edges. I've sewn the signatures in through here and I've used this heavy duty upholstery thread and it's doubled. I couldn't break it if I wanted to with just a single strand, but I doubled it anyway. There's four signatures, so I think it looks absolutely beautiful. There are four signatures. Yeah, I just said that. Four signatures, and there's 160 pages. So let's get inside because the inside is special too. I had to cover the inside because, I mean, it was okay over here but it was fall this really had to be reinforced all the way around because it was so fragile. Oh, and I did, I used Mod Podge on this over the whole thing in the napkins. Then I did the texture paste in the gold and then I sprayed it with an acrylic sealer. What was very interesting was that it was not tacky after the Mod Podge. However, after I used the acrylic sealer, it was tacky. Even 24 hours later, it was like, tacky tacky and that really bothers me and I'm like what can I do because I put so much work into it and I loved it so much but I didn't really want to sell a sticky journal so I thought of there's this product um and I couldn't find it so I improvised but I'm telling you this in case you're wondering what you can do about a sticky um decoupaged or sealed cover there's a product you can buy for removing the stickiness like off the back of stickers or things like that. Um, I thought that I needed it at some point and I bought it. I rarely used it and now I can't find it. But it made me think of um, 
like baking powder or baby powder. I used some baking powder and I just tapped it on a, like a stencil brush and just brushed and brushed and brushed it super light fine over. And just those teeny particles stick to any of the ta uh, tacky and take the um, away so it feels solid. Okay, so here we go. The inside is covered with vintage sari fabric that I got from Sheila over at Boho Daydreams on Facebook. And I used a big piece. It goes through the spine and all the way through the back here. It's so gorgeous. And then there is a fabric pocket, some lace. This is from my Summer Comes um, journal kit. It's texture paste on textured cardstock. I don't know if I have any of those kits left in my shop or not. Excuse me. And then in here I have, this is one of my vintage bird library cards. And they're only available through my um, vintage image clubs on my shop. You can get them printed or digitally. They are in the March, April one. So you'll get, there's like four different ones. And then these are from TLC Creates Vintage. They're collaged postcards. I asked Paulette if I could use these um, in this journal and she sent them over. They're so pretty. I've just printed them on cardstock. And then I've used papers from Antique Papery and I don't remember the exact name of these papers. Um, her prices are incredible. It was a dollar for the set of six. I think they're eight and a half by 11 size. I think they're called lush forest or greenery or something like that. So I've used that stitching around the edge. There's a little wallpaper um, border, a ticket and a washi floral sticker. This is from digital curio. It is vintage hummingbirds. I love the bright colors. And then I have a little text spot here. This is vintage encyclopedia pages that I've done some stamping and inking on. There's coffee dyed paper. This, oh, what, what was the name of the shop? I purchased this paper pack to go with this journal. And I don't remember the name of the shop. <laughs> but that's what that is. And then this is eco dyed paper. Who is this from? I'm wanting to say... Taylor. Is it Lorna Taylor? Sorry if I'm getting that wrong because I've had it for a long time and I've used it in another journal and I added some. They're digital eco dies. This is a French English workbook. A book page and I've made a little fabric tab. Made a little collage tag there. Here's a journal card from my Ode to Nature kit, Adopt the Pace of Nature, Her Secret is Patience by Emerson. That's more from that paper pack, or just, they're just papers that I bought to put in here. I love the birds. A little piece of ephemera from Digital Collage Club. These are the painted butterflies from Digital Curio, and I did a text block stamp down here so you can write. A little fabric flip. Here's a floral book page that tips out so you can hide something behind it. I just collaged on some vintage book pages here. There's a tag with a little bit of sari silk that I got from Victorian Gypsy Girl. She sent me that. This tag is from Art by Lonnie on Etsy. And I've sold some of her journals on the marketplace, but she did... Um, there's like two or three sheets of these florals and I meant to use them before and I forgot about them. So I put some in this journal. This is from Calico Collage. It's one of her freebies. It's like a lace or ribbon holder. And then here's a piece of fabric you can use anywhere. And here's some of that washi tape. So you can see how that looks in a journal. This I was just playing. I don't know. <laughs> it flips up and I've done some wildflower stenciling. And then, um, there's another Art by Lonnie tag, and then there's a doily and some fabric. Stenciling. I 
I tried to keep it mostly nature, mostly neutral-ish colors. There's a little bit of like the sewing and a little bit of vintage ladies, but it's mostly nature. This is a vintage book page that I punched a butterfly out, made a pocket, and then a fabric covered tag. Isn't that pretty? And so when you stick it in there, it highlights that butterfly. And you can still journal on the back of it. So the end of the first signature says good and true. Isn't this paper gorgeous? And here's the next one, again, stitching. Then that collage here. This is, hmm. <laughs> I can't remember. I wanna say it's Dream Up Graphic. This little collage there. I have some wide washi tape that has mushrooms on it. This is from the French Heart on Etsy, and I purchased these journal pages. They're five by sevens, they're smaller, but they're kind of fun to tip in. This is art by Lonnie. Enjoy your sadness, flowers are our constant friends. And this is some of that same napkin that I decoupaged on the cover, and I just decoupaged it on this page. This is from that vintage bulbs book that I've been using and trying to use up. Some vintage prints that I printed out, vintage music sheets, a wallpaper washi, and this is from Avalon Rose. Little envelope in the middle, and this is Artie Mays from her Dragonfly kit. And I just folded it in quarters, did some wildflower stenciling on the inside, tucked it in the envelope. I have a playing card and a little receipt paper. Done some stamping. That's TLC Creates Vintage again. Book page. Some collaging. This is a one of those game books like I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> uh, there's a vintage photo. That's I got in some happy mail. This is from my Forget Me Not kit. It's a perpetual calendar. And then this is a calico collage from her uh, garden kit. It's one of the pages that I shrunk down. That's from my Forget Me Not kit. This is one of the pages from the French Heart and then I just put some textured wallpaper over this corner. A little bit of butterfly washi down here. It's a little flower stamp sticker thing there. Got wallpaper and washi, ledger. Got a ticket tag. This is art by Lonnie. And then a little coin envelope. I just put some washi on. And then there's, you could also tuck here in this little coffee dyed ticket if you wanted to. This is little things. This is digital curio parchment leaves. Love these papers. I use them in many of my nature journals. This I cut out of, you know those wallpaper sample books where they show you how things look on a wall? So I just cut that out, stitched it, and glued it on for some texture. These are from scans from a vintage book, some little bees. It says, every dream that lingers. I got these flowers, they're like little wooden butterflies, little wooden butterflies, and I got these from Pixel Scrapper. I collaged up some wallpaper, cardstock, and a hummingbird stamp. It's a vintage floral book page. Another perpetual calendar. I made a wallpaper pocket. This is one of Paulette's um, collaged postcards. And then there's a little like six ring Rolodex type um, journal page. This is from the French Heart. Got some Tim Holtz washi, little bird stamp, little scrap from my Forget Me Not kit, wallpaper tuck spot, and then Joanne Hall made this tag. Isn't that beautiful? Junk Journal Treasures on Etsy. She also made this little pocket. 
and I have a little vintage raspberry ring with creamy fruit salads for every occasion 1971. I just tucked that in there. I turned one of Paulette's collaged postcards into a pocket and I have a vintage floral book page and then a little ledger book page journal card that I made. I did a, I really like this collage. So here's some of that mushroom washi tape. I have a die cut that is a mason jar and then this is the washi flowers and I kind of tucked it in there before I put it down on the page so it looked like it was sticking out of the mason jar. Collaged on some wallpaper. From a vintage book. Done some collaging book pages. It says a little bit of everything. There's another little collage. Project Life card. I need to remember the shop. I will put it in the description box below because this whole paper set, this digital paper set, the whole set I used in this book. So I really need to attribute her. I just can't remember the name of the shop. This is an actual vintage postcard. Look at the gold gilding and the embossing. Many happy returns of the day. It's written on Ohio 1909. This is a big tuck spot. You can put photos or whatever back behind there. A doily, a little scrap from Avalon Rose big journal card, an owl stamp. Joanne made this as well. And then I just tucked in one of these pink chip cards. I loved pink beige and then I backed it with wallpaper so that would frame a photo really well. There's a Project Life card and a mini Rolodex card in this bag. A leaf stamp, wallpaper tuck spot. And this was a piece of packaging. So it was white on this side and I thought you could write on that because it's not shiny, it's matte, so you could write on that. And then this side, I just collaged wallpaper and then used a little bit of that sewing ticket washi. I thought that was really pretty. A little Victorian scrap from Avalon Rose. There's a little wallpaper and fabric and lace collage with a bulb pin and a green button. A project life card and on the back it said princess so this was more like for a little girl or a baby and I didn't I liked the wildlife and the nature for this book but I didn't want the princess so I just glued over some uh, lined paper so you can journal on the back there's a Tim Holtz journal card a giant gray tag that you can collage on you can journal on whatever you want with that and this, this is from a vintage book. Isn't that cute? I mean, I printed it on cardstock with the little ducks in the pond. There's eyelet lace here, a cameo. And then I think that's what that's called. Like a cameo brooch. It's not a brooch, it's flat back. I, this is a frame. It's a die cut. And then there's a little bit of fabric. And then it says, see the beauty in all things. This is from my forget me not kit. some collaging. Here's a wallpaper tuck spot. You can tuck things in. You could tuck something behind the leaf as well. Chance of a lifetime. And then library card from Above Par Crafts. Her link is below. So this is for sale. It's in the junk journals section of my shop. I put a lot of time thought and effort into this book, especially the cover. I'm really happy how it turned out. I feel like this is a true representation of what I love in a junk journal. Simple, yet beautiful, unique, one of a kind, yet you still feel like you can open it and write in it. Thank you for watching this. Um, check out the description box below because I will put the name of that shop in there. Go check out her shop. Um, she didn't sponsor it. I purchased 
these papers, but they're really pretty. They're unique to have all the browns in them. And I think that's really nice for pulling out the more wooden and subtle nature uh, theme. It kind of goes a little bit less from the green and pulls in a little more of the ivories and the browns. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video and have a happy weekend.